Okay, it's my pride to be with the supervising producer of the Miss International Queen and the CEO, Michelle Monte Carlo and Sir Tay. Hi, sir. Hello, po. good evening. Yeah, good Welcome evening. po to Tagaytay. Welcome. Yeah. Good evening to you, Miss Michelle Monte Carlo. Good evening, Mama Tente and Miss Luisa Chevalier. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Abroad. First, congratulations for this event. This is so wonderful. Uh, do you have any message for our candidates? Mr. Ano po, um, uh, sobrang excited kami makita sila and uh, we're so happy because kami po yung uh, naging part ng Miss International Queen Philippines which is kaunahan po dito sa Pilipinas. And we wish them all the luck and um, ano po, stay happy and stay uh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> At long last, this is the fruit of your labor. What's your message to all your supporters and the support and the other candidates? Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pag-support niyo sa amin ni Sir Tay and then siya sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng Miss International Queen Philippines uh, sa lahat po ng pagdarasal ninyo na sa gitna ng pandemya is naisantamplado po natin ito. Sa lahat po ng mga kandidata, umasa po kayo ang mga manunood at supporters po ng Ten Ten Show na bibigyan po natin kayo ng magandang uh, palabas. Supportahan niyo po ang lahat ng kandidata natin kasi super effort po sila. Kung akala niyo po na nag E effort kami ni Sir Tay, tsaka ng buong team ng MIK Philippines. Nagkakamali po kayo kasi sinasapawan kami ng effort ng mga girls. Kaya ipagdasal niyo po sila at maraming maraming salamat po sa support sa inyong mga vloggers at kay sa inyo po Mama Ten Ten. Thank you so much Sir Tay and thank you so much at CEO Mr. International Queen. Congratulations and good luck po. Thank you. Hello Miss Vilma. Hello ma. What say about the pageant? Oh it's beautiful. I'm amazed. At saka parang na-excite din ako because after a long long time nagkaroon ulit ng mga gantong event for the LGBT community. Nakaka-proud. Nakakaiyak. What can, what can you say about the candidates? Sa mga candidates lahat sila palaban. Lahat sila maganda. So nahirapan ako kaya lahat sila mataas ang score sa akin. Para walang, para walang sumamaan loob. <laughs> Because the LGBT loves you. Of course, parang parents ko eh. Good luck po sa lima. <laughs> Maraming salamat po ma. Thank you, thank you. So Hello, the very famous from TikTok. He had a flight to read this. Hello po. What can you say about the pageant? It was, it was amazing. I'm like in the outer words, they are so stunning. They're all beautiful, and I'm so happy that they represent the trans women community here in the Philippines, most specifically, because first time to. And I'm so honored and flattered to witness it. And who are you supporting? Secret moon. <laughs> But actually, I was here because my closest, um, yung dentist ko kasi is one of the judges, so that's why I'm here. Now looking at all of the ladies right now, para yes, may mga manok na ako pero I'm just gonna keep it with Can the I Just ask oh. who is your top three bet for now. Just for the preliminary round, what's your top three bet? Oh my God, um, I have number 18, number six, and number 24. Wow. Hello, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. my topics sa kanilang tatlong categories which is the swimsuit, the long gun, and the modern Filipiniana. House music. Hi beautiful people! Hello mga galgalans out there! Welcome to my vlog! Fresh from Tagaytay City, I hope na fresh din naman ako. Ang sarap talaga ng foods dito at talaga naman ang sarap ng weather. Babalik-balikan mo talaga siya. So much have been said, it's almost two years at nagkaroon na rin tayo ng live event. Tayo mga LGBTQIA. So sana lang, we're hoping and praying na tuloy-tuloy na ito para naman everybody is really happy. Anyways, congratulations first sa organizers ng Miss International Queen Philippines sapagkat yung effort nila just to put out a pageant like this. Actually, mabilis naman ang pacing ng pageant, hindi siya boring at hindi bababa ang yung momentum seeing that show. 
Yung choreography was so Miss Universe vibes. Yung sounds naman, it's so in and now. Talaga namang uh, mapapainda ka. Ang nakapogera. Let's tell specifically sa production number, magaling. They are wearing half of it is a swimsuit and half of it is a casual floral thing. Ang ganda niya sa stage. Anyway, nakita ko na ang design na yun sa Binibining Pilipinas but it's still very refreshing. So, thumbs up. The food naman is so unlimited kaya lahat naman ng mga nandoong guests is really so busog. Kaya lang feeling ko para ako nasa wedding or debut. Char. Char lang. Baka magalit ko kayo sa akin char lang po yun. Anyway, masarap po ang food. The host was magaling at professional. Alam na alam mo na alam niya yung kanyang ginagawa. Siyempre, naloka na naman ang mga sangkabaklaan sapagkat yummy naman talaga si host. On a serious note, let's go straight to the main point. Again, I might be wrong, I might be right. Base lamang po ito sa aking opinion. Again, again, and again. Lahat po ng mga candidates natin, they are all equally beautiful, they are all equally kind, they are all equally smart, they are all equally sexy. Ito lamang po ay base sa aking paningin. All the trans women candidates, lahat po sila grabe ang pasabog. So, here are my topics sa kanilang tatlong categories, which is the swimsuit, the long gun, and the modern Filipiniana. Who nailed it? To our preliminary round. Okay, on the swimsuit round, they are wearing an inspiration of our Philippine flag. So, ito na ang mga pumasok sa aking mga panlasa. Jamsi Maliari, Maria Hart, Sheila Magpale, Anne Patricia Lorenzo, Pau Gutierrez, Angel Montenegro, Justine Mascariñas, Minorca Mendoza, Jin Yi Zhang, Fuchsia Ann Ravenna, Fairy God Barbie, Rui Mariano, Lastly, Shane Lee Ann. Next is the Long Gun Competition. All of the candidates, lahat po sila, grabe effort kung effort talaga. I would like to give my biggest respect sa lahat po ng ating mga world-renowned local designers. Ang gaganda po ng inyong mga gawa. At talaga naman pong ito'y mapagmamalaki, magaling kayo, mahusay kayo, kayo po lahat ay talentado. And here are my topics for the Long Gun Competition. Maria Hard. Kahit naman anong damitin niya. Because of her physical attributes, stunning naman. Plus the fact that she has a very simple and yet elegant gown. I commission. I research na parang yung color is her decision, but the design is already sa designer. The color is blue, which is her decision, and pinaubayan niya ng lahat sa kanyang designer. Anyway, ang ganda niya, and it really fits her so much. It complemented her body too. Sheila Magpale. I just would like to commend for Sheila Magpale. Lahat ng gamit niya malinis. She also have a very malinis pasarela. Galawan niya, tame at mahusay. Tinorca Mendoza. Yung kanyang white pearl gown, really bagay na bagay kay Tinorca Mendoza. Lumabas ang tunay niyang aura at lumabas yung kanyang kulay. Next, Lars Pacheco. Hindi naman po ako bias. Pero personally, kung ako po ang papipiliin na susuotin sa lahat ng mga gowns na yan, I would wear yung gown ni Lars Pacheco. Why? Because siguro that's my personality. Bling-bling at makinang talaga sa stage. Pakmayaman. Aya Garcia. Masasabi mo naman talaga na ginawa ang gown na ito para sa kanya. Walang masyadong details, only the fabric at the fitting itself. Next is Rhea Nervida. Ang ganda ng kanyang orange Chinese colored gown. Lumabas din ang kanyang pagiging kayumanggi. She is so stunning in this gown at ang ganda ng details ng gown na ito. Next is Erica Ponseca. Grabe eh. Grabe si girl. May mga pasabog ha. Ang una ay naka-red. Kala mo yun na siya. Pero nung umiko siya, wow! Naging yellow gown. Very nice. Very clever. Very smart designer. Ang ganda. 
Actually, lahat ng mga tao doon nagpalaktakan when she turned around, revealing that second long gown. Ang ganda niya lang talaga. Napa-plus kaming lahat. Next is Justine Mascarinas. Wearing that white gown na meron pong malaking bow. Ang ganda naman. Anyway, Justine Mascarinas is so queenly naman. I'm also very consistent of Justine Mascarinas. The very queenly siya. So whatever she wears, she really can pull it off. Kudos again to you, Justine Mascarinas. Next is the much-awaited Rui Mariano. I've seen a lot of that design already, but it still amazes me. Bagay po sa kanya ang gown, ang soft ng color, at lumabas po talaga ang personality ni Rui Mariano dito. Na-carry niya to na gusto with matching sleek chic hair. It was an amazing totality for Rui Mariano. Next is Roxanne de los Santos. Maganda yung gown na ito bagay sa kanya at lalong-lalo na yung color which also complemented her personality. Yang La Vitoria. I've seen a lot of that gowns already in other pageants at latest nga best in long gown yung ganyan design which has a hood doon sa binibining Pilipinas. But still, it is amazing. Maganda pa rin. Maganda execution ni Yang La Vitoria. Maganda ang gown. And the totality of it, perfect. Steppy Cabajo. Hindi na ako mabibigla sa gown ni Steppy Cabajo. I am really watching. Dati pa, I was really waiting for anong sosoot ni Steppy Cabajo. Still, ginugulat niya pa rin ako in everything that she do. And also her glamping. Maganda, magaling, at tunay na manilang pinag-iisipan ito. Again, you never cease to amaze me, Steffi Cabajo. Next stop is Aunt Patricia Lorenzo. I am sorry to tell, I might be wrong. She has, hindi siya yung may pinakamagandang gown, but bringing out ng designer ang kanyang personality. Nilabas ang kanyang katawan, ang kanyang legs, ang kanyang skin. Nilaglag kanya yung pagiging sultry and sexy. Matalinong move ito para sa ating designer. It was really a good gown for her. Bagay na bagay sa kanya. Next is Shaylee Ann. It really matched her personality which is sweet, young, charming, so pretty. Talaga namang nag-complimented ito sa lahat ng kanyang totality. Next is Patricia Payumo. I think Patricia Payumo really pulled this gun because I think that is one of her strengths. Lalo-lalo na pag nakataas na siya ng hair, nakikita talaga ang ganda ng kanyang mukha. It was a beautiful gun, but I think Patricia Payumo really pulled it off. Also, we have Natalie De Los Santos. I think she has a very feminine and cute face. So, nadala niya yung gown niya with good personality. Last is Ming Ming. I love that sheer, sexy, long gown for her. Nakita ang kanyang pitit and sexy body. Again, maraming salamat sa ating mga world-renowned local Filipino designers. Last naman, dito naman po tayo sa aking favorite, ang modern Filipiniana wear. For number 15, Aya Garcia. Number 14, Aunt Patricia Lorenzo. Number 13, Ming Ming. Number 12, Minorca Mendoza. Number 11, Lars Pacheco. Number 10, Ria Nervida. Number 9, Bavos Festival Inspired, Jingyi Zhang. Number 8, Frontliner Hand Painted, Modern Filipiniana Gun by Johanna de los Santos. Number 7, Yang La Vitoria. Number 6, from Davao City, Eagle Inspired from Angel Montenegro. Dito naman po tayo pumunta sa ating number 5. That is Rui Mariano. Yung kanyang Suman Inspired Modern Filipiniana Wear. Ang galing. Congratulations to the designer and also for Rui Mariano for putting out that kind of masterpiece. What wows us really is yung kanyang hairpiece. So it was really a good factor. Number four, Altea Bulilat. Number three, Peach Abelia. Number two, yung may mga gold fringes na Filipiniana gown na na-pull off na naman. Again, ni Sheila Magpale. 
And lastly, for our number one, again, sa kanyang pasabog, Steppy Kabahog. Yung furniture, chandelier, like, gown. Grabe ito ha. Again, pinag-isipan na naman ito. It really wowed us. Lahat ng mga taong nanonood, it was so elegant, it was so classy, it was really so good. Again, to Steffi Cabahog and her team, marami pong salamat for giving us a wonderful and splendid thing. Natulala na talaga talaga kami nung nakita ito. Again, applause for everyone sa pagbibigay po sa amin ng very satisfying show. Talaga naman po ito'y pinag, inyong pinagpaguran, pinaggasusan, at pinagaksayahan po ng oras. Maraming salamat sa inyo, candidates and your whole team. Applause for everyone. That's it for my topics. Who nailed it? Until now, hindi ko pa rin alam talaga kung sino ang best among the rest. Sapagkat lahat po sila, pokpokan, gitgitan, at pasabugan. One thing for sure, ang panalo po dito ay tayong lahat ng mga manonood, tayo pong all pageant fans. Again, this is Tenten Rodriguez from YouTube channel Tenten Tenten Show. At muli, maraming salamat po. Oh, 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 oh,